and that is the wing of the Plager Spitfire and that I mean that's such a good uh, it's oversampled so I've got an oculus tray tool running and it's oversampling at 1.3 and that seems to have made a huge difference to the, the appearance plus the 1070 G1 card and of course it's a really good Plagius model that I've got here for the Spitfire so next thing to do is just get going so that was a speed warning we're in the air, take the wheels up straight away gear up and you'll see that the yuck is lit on the cockpit there in red that's the gear so over here is the white cliffs of Dover or similar so I'm not sure exactly where I am I'm not sure where the deal is won't be such a choppy recording as it was. Had to turn the quality down a little bit and also turn off look ahead on the recording uh, just to see if it makes a difference. center of the mouse there is a spot in the middle otherwise they keep pulling me off to one side nice at this time I might just go up here Keep twisting the the uh, handle, which gives me a little bit of flaps on there. Well, that's a bit of a bad habit because it throws you right off. I say. Nice. <laughs> you gotta look out for the trees. <laughs> when you're looking at the view like that as well. Not sure what those shaded lines are, they look like targeting markers from somewhere. So I'll try and get rid of those. Potentially it's because it's uh, in realistic mode but not simulator mode so let's see. So one thing I'm just going to do quick loop the loop if I've got enough room I don't want to crash or anything but oh yeah you can see the scuff marks on the uh, canopy there just in the foreground and that that counter is part of the game so you should be able to switch that off at some point. And over there is the radar. In-game radar it shows you where all the enemies are and allies. I mean you've got to look at that. I mean there's I can even see a slight bit of rust on the, the um, on the centre of the plate in the middle of the wing there. That's really good. 
when it gets shot to pieces so you see all the innards as well. It's just really really good. Let's try it. Let's try it. Tell I'm falling quite a lot of it this way. And you don't want to go above 400 otherwise it tears the wings off, which happened. It's already happened. So there's an airport over there, on uh, just where I'm looking now. So if I can follow up the coast, go over the water and then land. Look at this as well. Go to 50% throttle because if um, if you go full on, it's wet, and then you end up overheating the engine and just basically losing the engine entirely, which I've also done, of course. goes into the sea. Obviously I'll be flying under a bridge where I can get the hang of controlling this thing. It's quite it gets quite sluggish at 50% throttle to be honest. SP is 240. I'll wait until it drops. Pull back a bit. And now I can put the flaps on. There's the flaps. See the switch going down there. Confirmation. And we'll get the wheels on. Looks like I'm overcooked that. I'm going to drop back down now. Hmm. Oh well. I'm down now. <laughs> yes. 